Hello again and welcome to another Dr. Spotfire Quick Tip video. I'm Jose Luis from Tico and I'm going to show you how to create a JavaScript crosshair for Tico Spotfire. A crosshair in a visualization are two perpendicular lines, one horizontal and one vertical, that moves across the screen with the mouse motion. I have implemented the crosshair in this visualization and my use case could be that, for example, I have two visualizations, one on top of the other. In this case, I have a scatter plot and then a trellis lines at the bottom. So with this crosshair, you see how the cross, long cross moves across the screen when I move the mouse. Here's another example where I might have uh, scatter plots uh, in different rows and columns. Now I can see and I can follow along the vertical line or the horizontal line to see what a particular point will match across the rest of the visualization. To create this crosshair, it's actually very simple. I have an article here. You can search in the community for JavaScript crosshair for Tipco Spotfire. And we are going to copy the first line of code for my HTML, go back to my Spotfire, create a new page or just a text area within a visualization area and add a text area. Oops, not, not this one. I'm going to add a text area and edit the HTML. I'm going to add this, going to save, and nothing is going to happen because these are just placeholders for my horizontal and vertical lines. Now I'm going to add the JavaScript necessary so when my move mouse, mouse when, when my move, so when, so when my mouse moves, the crosshair is going to move along. So I go back to my article and I copy this small JavaScript go back to the to the spot fire and add a new JavaScript. I'm going to call it crosshair and I'm going to paste the code here. For the description, I can always copy the URL where I copy the script from for future reference. Click OK and now I have the crosshair available in any visualization that you want to place. Let's put a line chart and everything is going to have this visualization. Let's see how it, how it looks on uh, dark mode. So let me switch my visualization to dark. And see, you can also style the, 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 these lines with, uh, by going to the, to the script. But for now, this is how it looks. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for future and more exciting quick tip videos. Thank you.